Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here for a process video using the new Felicity Jane Fala La La kit. And if you came to this video from my Hot Rod Boutique post, then um, you're here to see how I use the gold embossed vellum as the mat for my photograph. I just happened to make that and then decide to use this kit with it because I love this kit and the Christmas colors and I think that the gold embossed vellum goes just perfectly with it. So I'm just going to kind of go through the steps of the layout. Right here I am cutting apart all the, the little cut apart things that come in this kit. They come um, printed out on one paper and then you have to cut them up by yourself. It's super easy to do and I actually used a circle punch that fit that circle um, image just perfectly. So I already know um, that I'm going to mat the photograph on this gold embossed vellum that I used the Avery L. Noel stamp set to create. And so now I'm just kind of going through and picking my um, some embellishments, but most importantly the papers that I want to use. And this photograph is of a family friend of ours has a Christmas tree lot every year and that's where we always get our Christmas trees so I just took a picture of the sign because it's kind of like vintage and old school and I thought it was awesome and I've been using the beautiful mess um, app on my iPhone and the filter that I use is called Roscoe and I love it it's like a really cool black and white filter so I've decided to kind of make the main part of this layout with some white cardstock and then I'm going to mat it on that really pretty there's this really pretty like very blue red cardstock in the kit and I'm going to mat it on that so I'm just kind of just I'm just distressing the edges because I love the texture that it adds and then I'm going to adhere this white cardstock down to the red cardstock and I kind of fold up the edges and um, tear it just a little bit so you can see I only put adhesive really like on the middle I don't go around all the edges so then I can you know fluff it up a little bit more So now I am, I'm not sure what, oh, I'm going to place my um, layers of paper. I'm using this bold black and white stripe. I love that. And I love how the gold embossed snowflakes look over top of that paper. I think it's just so awesome. So this layout is definitely gold, black, white, and red, which are totally my favorite Christmas colors. I'm going to use some of these little strips that look like a, um, kind of like a, a, fair owl sweater or something um i just love that print and so i it i just cut a little piece of it to, to kind of ground the photo because it was a little bit floaty and i'm really going to use the stamp set well not i'm using it one time but i'm excited to use the stamp set on this layout <laughs> Because I, I really do love this stamp set i think it's great i pulled a couple of labels that i had cut out of the big um printed sheet of uh, embellishments and I'm going to try this try out stamping first on a piece of cardstock and then move to the label just to make sure that it fits right and because when you sometimes when you emboss words um, they're they're they don't say stay nice and crisp even if you use like detailed embossing powder sometimes they're still hard to read so I just want to make sure that it's going to look exactly the way that I want it to look before I commit to doing it on the label. So as you can see here, I'm just going through all the little goodies that come with this kit and kind of laying them out to see where they might work. I've also pulled out some of the acrylic letters to spell out Christmas tree. I'll end up having the title, um, the word just be Christmas and then having the second part of the title in that little black label that you see there. But for now I have them all out. So here's where I'm going to test um, the word traditions and see if I like the way that it looks gold embossed and I'm sorry if you can hear a difference in the voiceover I have to keep stopping and restarting it because ever since I updated to Yosemite operating system it crashes if I keep the voiceover going for like longer than a minute so I don't know what's wrong with it it's very strange anyhow I love the way that it looks gold embossed so I'm going to go ahead and commit to doing it on this little label and sorry for my hair in the way also so I just use my powder tool there to make sure that the embossed powder doesn't stick. And I'm going to use these little tweezers so that I don't burn myself. And um, heat set that and I just, I think it looks so pretty. I love that font. It's one of my favorite fonts of all time. 
And so my title now is going to be Christmas Traditions. So that's where I was going with that. And I think this is where I figure out that I just want the word Christmas and not tree. So it says Christmas Traditions. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this multi matte medium and I put it onto an acrylic block. And I have this small little paintbrush and I painted the back of all of that acrylic with that uh, matte medium. And then I'm going to put an acrylic block over the top of it just to keep them in place while they dry because they're so, so narrow. I feel like they're going to slide all over the place. And I'm sorry I didn't zoom back out. I will in a second. But I'm just gluing down some of these sequin stars that came in the kit. And I will add some embellishment to the upper left-hand corner. I also add, um, there's a little tree stamp in the stamp set. And I also um, stamped it all over the layout and then in Versamark and then gold embossed it. And I also stamped it in black ink. One other thing that I did was I took some staples from my tiny attacher and I um, painted them with a gold paint pen and then let them dry overnight and then put them back in my tiny attacher. I just showed them to you there really fast. That's the pen I used also. I'll have links to the stuff below. And that way I have gold staples, which I love because I love that they match. I normally always have gold staples in there, but for some reason I had silver ones. I don't know. I guess I ran out and didn't have time to, to make some more. They're awesome though. So this is going to finish up the process video. Like I said, I did add some more stamping and also a couple of more embellishments, which you're seeing here in the photos. And if you came to this video from the Hot Rod Boutique post, check out the store on Etsy. If you didn't and you came for the Felicity Jane kit, check out the kits at Felicity Jane. They are awesome. Almost all exclusive um, products. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I would love to see how you incorporate stamping into your 12x12 layouts, whether it's from embossing or words or numbers or anything like that. I used several stamps on this layout. Um, the date, all the Christmas trees, the word traditions, and of course that um, beautiful snowflake gold embossed vellum. So let me know how you how you like that. If you want to see more layouts using stamping or um, how you do use stamping on your layouts and projects. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.